Hello, my awesome Virgos. Hope you're doing wonderful. This is Monica with Pisces Moon Intuitive. Virgo, you want a soulmate reading to check up on the latest energies between you and your soulmate. First, as usual, we're going to ask what's coming up for you, what you'll be dealing with facing in your life, and how you're currently doing on your soulmate journey. Second part of this video, we're going to ask about your soulmate, whoever it is you're thinking of concentrating on while watching this video whether you're currently in contact with them or not the universe please step in show very clear and important messages for the sign of virgo for virgo's highest good please the universe please show us what's coming up for virgo in the life and how is virgo currently doing on their summer journey <coughs> what's coming up for virgo in the life and how is Virgo currently doing on their soulmate journey? Extra message. Oh boy, this is you very stressed out. This is you having a lot of worries on your shoulders. This is you worrying excessively. You feel like you want some new beginning in your life. New chapter, new beginning. You're ready for it. You still love your soulmate, but you're not reaching out to them. You're not putting your life on hold. You're not waiting by the phone anymore. Yeah, this is you mm, feeling overburdened emotionally, though, from your past. Um, yeah, past relationships. yeah there's a lot you dealing with emotionally yeah because you've been through a lot but go you see this you feel like you always have to fight for yourself like you can't just relax like you always have to uh look over your shoulder and defend yourself everywhere you go you feel exhausted by it this is you feeling tired this is you feeling like you deserve a new beginning Universe, please show us what's coming up. Yeah, you want a new chapter in your life. This is you ready for new beginning. What's coming up for Virgo in the life? And how is Virgo currently doing on their soulmate journey? Yeah, you're tired. This is you tired, but look at this. You always are um, strong. Whatever it is you're going through in life, always you are always strong and resilient. Yeah. You're not reaching out to your soulmate. This is how you view them based on the behavior towards you. Kind of um, proud, not really communicating with you. Yeah. You want this communication to happen. You feel that for the two of you to clear things up you need to communicate but you're not reaching out to them yeah wow you you've balanced a lot of karma you've been through a lot of uh, difficult situations connections relationships this is you learning very important lessons from those experiences how to forgive yeah one of them ah okay this is you doing too much at your job. Yeah, this is you overburdened with responsibilities at your job. Yeah, like too much is expected of you. Yeah, you're dealing with a lot, a lot of stress and uh, shenanigans at your place of employment. Yeah, you see, so this person of yours is wanting so badly to... Uh, clear the air with you, communicate with you. you this is how you feel <clears throat> because you've been through so much, Virgo. This is you feeling tired. Yeah, you feel like you need a break, like you need to relax, like you need to maybe travel somewhere, go for vacation. You still are very feeling connected with the soulmate you've been dealing with. 
connection from past lifetimes is showing up here for you. You see, you still love them, but you're not chasing them. Justice and lovers, major arcanas. Deep connection from past lifetimes with this person. Wow, this is a heavy connection between you two. Let me see what's going on here. You know, please show us what's coming up for Virgo and how is Virgo currently doing? Your energy is beautiful, though. Look at this. You, you're not asking for much. You just want uh, tranquility, stability, uh, peace in your life. You see this? This is you. You don't want to argue. You don't want to go through any drama. You just want some peace in your life. Yeah. You're holding on. Yeah. You're holding on to a lot from your past. You see this? It's like you... Uh, not allowing yourself to move on. You see, this is you dwelling too much on your past, what could have been, should have been. You currently are dealing with a group of people where you always have to be on guard and defend yourself and stand up for yourself, whether it's a group of people at your job, in a family or neighborhood. You're tired. Yeah, you just want some peace and tranquility in your life. You are very reasonable. <clears throat> let's see what's going on with that soulmate you've been dealing with you know let's please show us what's going on currently with that soulmate of virgo and how is that soulmate of virgo towards virgo at this time especially emotionally what's going on currently with that soulmate of virgo and how is that soulmate of Virgo towards Virgo at this time, especially emotionally? This is them trying to figure out how to approach you. Yeah, so they're not able to move on with their life, but it looks like you feel betrayed in this relationship. They do love you. Yeah, this person does love you. You see this? Unexpressed love is showing up here. Yeah, you see this? They wish to make amends with you. This means apologies, peace offerings. Interesting. Let's see. They have a lot of confusion on how you feel currently towards them. What to do. They know that they still love you. Oh, boy. They're not happy about losing you this is them very sad heartbroken devastated over losing you yeah this person loves you a lot they're not happy about losing you you see this this is them feeling a lot of regrets universe please all these emotions these are one two three four cup cards all emotions feelings universe please show us what's going on currently with that soulmate of virgo and how is that soulmate of Virgo towards Virgo at this time, especially emotionally? Yeah, this is them feeling blocked, scared, unsure how you would react. Yeah, they slow to action, but they would like to come towards you with an offer or peace offering at least. Yeah, this person tried to disconnect emotionally and they can't. You see, they still love you. Yeah, wow, you guys have, they also have justice. So they also have these two cards that you had and justice. Um, you guys have uh, soul lessons to learn from each other. This is um, a relationship from many past lifetimes. Yeah, very strong soul connection between you two. Universe, please show us. What's going on currently with that soulmate of Virgo? This was a serious connection between you two. Yeah, you see this? Very serious connection between you two. Very intense soul connection. Yeah, they're trying to figure out if you love them or not, if you miss them or not. This person views you as very intuitive. 
So there's something they haven't told you that they want to tell you or inform you of, something of great importance to them. That, but it has to do with their feelings, you see, because it's on top of Ace of Cups, unexpressed love, hidden love, unspoken love. Again, apologies, peace offerings showing up here for you. Something is brewing at your job, Virgo. Yeah, something is going on at your job. A lot of hidden stuff at your job showing up here. Wow, so keep your eyes and ears open, Virgo, and you're going to be fine with whatever's going on at your job. You know, please show us uh, what's going on currently with that soulmate of Virgo that Virgo has been dealing with. Again, you see this person uh, feels lost on how to handle this right now. This is only temporary, though. They're going to find out what they need to do to address this issue. Yeah, look how scared they are that they can't move on because they still love you. The tower. Wow. This is like a wake-up call for them. Yeah, you see, this is them losing that ego, losing that ego and finally feeling vulnerable emotionally. They didn't expect to feel this way. They didn't expect to miss you so much. Wow, Virgo, we're going to go into your extended reading. We're going to ask about this person, but also new soulmates entering your life. First, however, we're going to ask about this soulmate's true, genuine long-term intentions and plans for you what they planning long term then we're going to ask what they currently hiding from you whether purposely or can't communicate for whatever reason but the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good and of course at the end we're going to ask advice for you on how to best handle this soulmate connection at this time and anything else you need to know about your life including new soulmates entering your life new chapters new beginnings in your life, also your health, finances, business, job opportunities, family matters, friendships, whatever it is you need to know, they'll show it at the end of the reading as well. So we're going to click on the extended link below this video in the description box below, and I'll see you there. Love you guys.